Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So I wanted to talk about how you set up the machining side of the software for plasma cutting. Okay, so let's say you want to do some plasma cutting and you have a part drawn. Typically you'll draw a part on center because it's easy to mirror or rotate geometry around. But when it comes time to machining the part, um, you typically want to move the part. And uh, here's some tips that will help you get started. So one of the things that I would do is create a new layer and call it stock. Let me just turn off my CAD layer for a moment. And then I'm going to draw up a sheet that represents the material that I might be working with. So in this case, it's going to be a 24 by 24 uh, square. So this is my material that I'm going to start with. Now from there, what I can do is pick up my CAD layer. And what I want to do is move this geometry so that it's inside of my stock shape. So we go to Utilities and then Translate. Uh, we're going to do a drag and I'll select all my geometry here. Now one of the things that's kind of nice about the new software is you do have this uh, the ability to kind of just pull out your geometry so you can get it close to where you want it to be and then there's also some values um, for you to type in if you want to add what a value might be. So maybe this is 2.5 by 2.5 and that gets me to where I want to uh, start cutting from. Okay, so I've drawn my part out on the screen, or I've, I've drew my stock. This is where I want to cut inside of, and then from there, uh, I actually drew out my stock. Now, the main reason why I do this is when you go to create a new job, you're going to make uh, how you tell the software you're running plasma. You choose a milling job, and then you choose a plasma machine, and then that will set the software up for plasma cutting. And then when you do your stock wizard, because you've already drawn the stock, it will actually pick up that stock shape automatically. The only thing you need to do is to set the thickness of the material that you're working with, and then also when you set your zero, you can pick from existing UCS because everything's already in position as necessary. Now, the other thing that I recommend as well is a lot of people, they don't want to go through the steps of setting up the stock and setting the zero every time. So what you can do is save this file right here as a starter file. So that way, the next time you, ne you need to go do a job, what you can do is just open up this file and then copy and paste your geometry into the job that's set up for machining as well. That's a good tip and will definitely save you some time. Now, now that we've programmed this job, one of the things, or I'm sorry, now that we set the job up to program, one of the things that's really nice about the software as well is you can copy and paste machining features from one file to the other. So we can do a copy and then we can do a paste. And now I've loaded in all the settings that I want to use to program these slots here. Okay, so this way I don't have to start over every time. I can use those settings that are common for me and they're already set up. So I've programmed the inside shapes. The next thing I want to do is program the outside shapes. Okay, the only thing we want to check on is to make sure our start position is where we want it to start cutting from. You know, and then because we do have some, some corners here, maybe we'll change our corner types like we did in the last uh, example. Okay. All right, so now we have this one part program. Now, one of the things is, is maybe you're going to program this one part. Maybe you need to program multiple parts. We do have something called toolpath patterns. And what this will allow you to do is to create an array. So we're going to make this five and I want three copies and we'll make this five and I want three copies. So that way I programmed a single part, but now I can create an array. Uh, these are just some of the tips to help you get up and running faster for programming plasma parts with Bobcat. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, feedback, just let me know. Reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Thank you so much, guys.